This video is intended to help anyone that is having problems with 3D printing and specifically getting 3D prints to stick um, effectively to the print bed. There is uh, all manner of um, YouTube videos and, and helpful hints and tips online uh, ranging from using glues and special surfaces to glass plates or whatever. Uh, I've been 3D printing now for quite a number of years and I have a few different 3D printers. Initially my problem was getting the prints to stick to the print bed. Uh, once I'd solved that, which was quite an easy one to, to fix, my problem was getting them off again once they'd finished printing. To get them to stick in the first place, it's really a case of getting the temperatures right, but more specifically, the most important thing, um, at least what I found, is getting the correct distance between the print head and the bed, uh, so that the first layer of the print is properly kind of squidged into the surface. Not too much so it spreads out and um, you can end up blocking the nozzle, but certainly enough so that it's, it's properly adhered to the print bed. Once you've done that, the problem of getting them off again means that you're constantly juggling um, a, a very critical line between backing off the adhesion so you can get them off and making sure that the adhesion is enough so that they don't warp or curl or just fall off the print bed. Now that problem is made far worse when you have print beds that aren't flat. I don't mean level, levelling them is quite easy, there's usually a, a utility within the machine. You can go into most machines or even manually level the bed. Uh, I'm not talking about levelling it, I'm talking about the fact that most um, print beds and certainly ones I've used are, are bowed either up or down. Most of the ones I've found are bowed upwards in the middle. I'll just run a quick print on this machine to show you what I mean. Uh, I'll just start it running. It's quite a big print. This is quite a big printer. It's got a very large build volume. So the problem does show up very well on here. Now in this particular print, I'm even using a very um, thick first print layer to try and overcome the warp on the bed. But you'll see what the problem is. So I'll start this running. I'll fast forward through the actual build and I'll show you the problem once it's finished. Okay, so I'll stop that print and show you what the problem is, or how it manifests itself on the print. Now one thing I now always use on the printers where I'm not using glass beds is the magnetic surface. They are extremely good and make getting the prints off afterwards very easy, especially large ones. Now, I don't know how well this will show on camera, but the problem that we tend to get with uneven beds. As you can see at the edges, we're getting quite a loose um, print, whereas in the centers, we're smearing the print to the degree that at the top, it's not printing at all, all the way around. And then on the right-hand side, it's just the machine finishing. On the right-hand side, again, it's very loose um, and there is no way to correct this and you can see in the center it's so close that it's, um, it's, it's just smearing the, uh, the PLA across the surface and then as it starts to fill this in you'll get waves and ripples across the middle and the part will most likely curl at the edges because it's not properly adhering and this will just fall off. So there are many ways you can go about trying to correct this. If you have a an aluminium print bed, you could try um, remachining it, rubbing it down in the middle uh, or wherever it's high. The problem doing that is they do tend to change shape, as, especially if you use um, high temperatures on the on the bed, as I tend to. Uh, they, they do change over time, so you'll be constantly trying to do that. So the method I use is to use paper shims between the bottom part of the magnetic bed and the top surface. 
So I'll just grab those to show you um, how I arrange them. Okay, so based on what I find um, are the high spots and low spots on the bed, I'll create a series of paper shims. And in this particular bed, it's high in the middle and tapers out towards the edges. Um, the paper I use is 80 gram paper, so it's 0.1 millimeters thick. And all I really do is create a print as I did just now. And you can see from that where the high spots and low spots are. And then I create some shims that will give me um, a kind of corrective height profile for what I found the print is actually doing. And because I use a magnetic base, I can then simply put those between the two. So the camera's in the way here, so I can't really get into it properly, but I put those between the two. That will then um, effectively level the bed. So I'll now run the same print again, um, and this time we'll see that the print is much more even. So again, I'll fast forward it, and I will need to just make a quick uh, tweak to the levelling screws, because obviously now the shims are there, um, it, the bed does need to be lowered slightly, but it is now level, so it should print evenly across the surface. Okay, so I'll stop the print again and we'll have a look at the results and see if they're any better than on the previous um, attempt. Okay, so as we can see this time, it's perfectly even all the way across, same width. A little bit, uh, heads a little bit low, but that's just because I, I gave it a quick uh, turn without really testing it. But even so, you can see that um, both top and bottom sides it's very even. Um, we're not getting this very high spot in the middle. The little one underneath is just the remnants of the previous print. That won't come off now until I print over it. Um, so a very simple paper templates took, you know, just a few minutes to make. If the bed does change shape, I can just uh, create some new ones. If I find it's um, high in one spot or low in another, you can just um, change the shape of the shims. You won't get a step um, where the paper cut ends because this is relatively thick, and so this tends to even out the uh, the transition between the paper uh, templates and the next or the bed and you get a nice smooth transition across the bed and probably within half an hour you can you can get a very level bed you don't need to re-machine it, you don't need to um, start messing about changing the software or anything else um, it will be nice when eventually the manufacturers do build into the machine the ability to, to do this in the, in the code but in the meantime this is a very quick, cheap and easy way to resolve a lot of issues and once you resolve the issue of the bed not being um, flat, then getting it level and getting the correct height for the, um, the print head then becomes much more straightforward. Okay, well I hope you found that of interest and that uh, it might be helpful. Uh, any comments would be welcome. <laughs>